um, you know, I was real good friends with Dale Earnhardt, and we used to go fishing all the time. And our fishing was uh, was generally, I mean, we would we would fish for catfish every now and then, or bass in a pond. But generally, we would go to the Bahamas and uh, fish fish uh, fish off his boat in the ocean. And the the, the experience for me was was way more about um, the friendship and and uh, us sharing stories and 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 uh, the the time on the back of the boat. The fishing was a bonus when something would would bite our line. Um, that was exhilarating and it was fun and it was it was energetic and we loved it. But then when nothing was biting our line, it was it was equally as uh, rewarding for me. I grew up, I grew up as a as a little kid in Kentucky, who my brother Daryl was my hero, and uh, his his main rival is the guy that, that that probably raced him the hardest and had the best battles with him was Dale Earnhardt, and Dale Earnhardt was was just an interesting person. You know, he was just a he was a racer to me that I didn't know, and on the back of a on the back of a boat, um, we I got to know the person that was Dale Earnhardt, and it taught me so much about you know about I think life. You know, people aren't people people. No one is what you think they are if you don't know them. You gotta you gotta know someone and understand who they are. Absolutely. And uh, because of because of fishing, you know, I was able to, to get to know them. You know, Dale invited me to the to the boat and. Um, and and my wife and I would go down with he and his wife and and uh, I would you know I'd get into we'd go out sometimes in the morning and catch the bait and then we'd bring the bait to the boat and we would uh, you know go fishing and if it wasn't fishing for for uh, for dolphin or or uh, marlin we were we were fishing for tuna uh, we we fished for everything and so everything that I know about know about fishing. Um, was was learned from Dale, and it was because you know it wasn't it wasn't originally about fishing. It was just about going to the Bahamas and hanging out. And then I have this. I guess it's okay to say about yourself. Like I have a an obsessive personality. Like mm-hmm. when he said, "Let's fish." I got the rule. Yeah, let's fish. We gotta fish. <laughs> we gotta we gotta figure out how to catch the biggest fish ever. And so um, I. You know, I was the guy that, and Dale was the guy too, that wanted to be on the boat at at six in the morning and stay on it till six at night. You know, whatever, whenever they were biting, we wanted to be fishing, and and I think that uh, that you know we were on vacation, but but we almost looked at fishing more like a job. Like we got we got shit to do. You know, we got we got fish <laughs> to catch, and. Even though we were just on vacation and we're supposed to be chilling out, we took our fishing quite seriously. And, um, and as, as any angler knows, you know, you're not gonna they're not gonna be biting the whole time. So there was there was a lot of downtime and and time for for us to reflect on who we were as as race car drivers and who we were as people and what our what our goals and aspirations were as well. So while I feel like today, you know, if someone asked me to go on a fishing trip, I could jump right in and and uh, and um, know know how to bait the hook or or cast the line. I, I think it just turned out to be way more than that for me. I just think family. You know, NASCAR is all about family. You you um you know you. You go with your dad. You you race with your brother. You 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 hang with your sister. And um, I just think that I think that's it. And it's the same with fishing. 